no and i'm moving okay guys so the last thing that i really want to talk about these conspiracies and you know i'm not going to bring them up again because i just it's just kind of you know something that i know and i'm moving like i need to stay high vibe so i was just trying to make people aware but i was going to say that a lot of people don't want to face the truth because it is a little scary and there's a lot of fear behind it and they think that they're going to have to go into their fears and face their fears and do something about it because there's all this shit going on and that's probably true but you have to be strong and you have to come to the truth and then when you do the inner work and you're working toward enlightenment and you're working towards ascension then you're supported by the universe you're supported by the angels you're supported by the guides look and if you don't think that there's something significantly wrong with the system and way of life then you are i feel sad for you because you have been programmed to the max like you are a robot like you are not you have no mind of your own you this is coming from a person that looks like you just did of marijuana and possibly drugs and your entire face looks like you injected silicone all over it shut the fuck up moon have been programmed um because just look at the world look how we're living look at the food supply look at the earth look at the fear the hate are you fucking insane like there are horrible people we've gone through horrible things in the past and we learn from those things you to say that we're programmed or whatever is the stupidest thing i've ever heard that's not normal it's been programmed in us so and this is coming from a yuppie who <laughs> goes on social media and talks about all these bizarre new age and like weird freaking like yoga stuff it's like this person's fucking nuts wake up so I you sound just as crazy as those uh you sound like one of those cult followers like uh, Charles Manson. I was also thinking about an analogy um that this when you come into this world it's kind of like the mechanical bull, you know that you see at bars and stuff. And it's kind of like when you watch other people do it and you see them fail and you know it's just like a qu short quick ride and you're like you know i think i have a strategy i can do this like i can what the fuck is she talking about and do better than these people like i'm on a mission i'm gonna make it and then you're in for the ride and um it's kind of in a sense like that except we're awakening we're conscious and we can't we can't like go out without trying like we came here for a reason um no um that's not true at all you're here because your parents fucked <laughs> that's why you're here there is no reason basically what happened was your dad or whoever fucked your mom sperm traveled and fertilized in the uterus and caused the egg and you were in the uterus for about nine months and then you were fucking born that's the science behind fucking pregnancy and why people have fucking kids there's no other reason there's no spiritual being People are born because of fucking. That's it. <laughs> That's the science behind it. So life in the 5D is much more multifaceted. It's much more multidimensional. By the way, I don't know where you're getting 5D from, but whatever universe you think you can be outside of a Periel universe is just ridiculous. 
Anyone who takes anything serious of this girl needs some psychiatric evaluation. Obviously and exciting and you come to a point where you don't fear shit because you know that you are the power and you know that with your elevated thoughts, your elevated consciousness, you're creating the higher consciousness, you're developing it. Fear is a natural part of life. People who go through fear of life um, have to go through those things. Uh, Fear is a response to the brain to protect itself. Any fucking doctor will tell you that. Or others to tap into and you're tapping into the others and it's just like a, you don't get the dark shit, you know, and you know how to handle everything. So it's really worth it to just fight through the shit and f- get to the, the light, the 5D. It's going to happen anyway. Um, what the fuck are you talking about? So, yeah, I guess those are my final words. I'm not really going to be on Instagram for a while. Um, I'm going to take a break. I just kind of had a social media day, but I love you all. And good night. And look who's on my bed. And then she puts, okay, check this truth out that just hit. Are you ready for this? If you've heard about the conspiracies but are scared to look into them because you think you might be targeted or you might create more fear for yourself, guess what? You already know that it's true. But the worst part is you already being controlled because you are already living in fear. Do you do you understand? No. <laughs> and 58% said yes. The world is awakening. Don't sleep. Nothing to fear. <laughs> this, she is a psycho. Oh my god. What a fucking moron. I'm not a conspiracy theorist. Maybe I was before all the info came out. I'm a seeker of the truth. I'm not following what we've been fed all our lives. That's not interesting to me. It's just not. I'm making my account private again and being more selective. Follow me. (laughs) Oh, my God. Just found out that this was on BuzzFeed. What was false about speaking my opinion? Posts about Agenda 21 have not been exclusive to typical conspiracy accounts. For example, Moon Mason, an Instagram influencer with most half a million followers who describes herself as a goddess of love and sex, wrote in a caption, I'm not down with the coronavirus and lies, and implored her followers to investigate Agenda 21 5G networks and chemtrails. <laughs> <laughs> she does sound fucking nuts. <laughs> she sounds fucking nuts. Oh my god. You're fucking crazy. <laughs>